Hi, I'm Christina Nicholson, and you are watching Palm Beach TV on Sunday morning. This is a production of the Palm Beach Civic Association. In our 78th season, the Palm Beach Civic Association brings you Palm Beach TV and our Sunday newscast. In the next few minutes, you'll meet some colorful members of our community as we show you the unique lifestyle of the island. Break out the books. A very special man right here on Palm Beach Island is teaming up with a well-known university to change the lives of millions of kids. And it all starts with a book. A reading challenge is underway. The person heading it is Palm Beach resident, Palm Beach Civic Association director, and world best-selling author, James Patterson. And I don't care how kids read. I don't care if they read on their computers or they read paper books or they and I don't care if they if they read graphic novels, especially when they're when they're learning how to read or or some of the kids books have pictures in them and that's okay. The main thing with kids is get into the point where they're competent readers and then it can grow and grow and grow and get better. Patterson got hooked on comic books as a child. Fast forward a few decades and the University of Florida Literacy Institute has partnered with the James Patterson Foundation to address Florida's literacy crisis through the James Patterson Literacy Challenge. In Florida, the percentage of kids reading at grade level is like 46 percent, which is a disgrace. And, and Florida isn't bad. I mean, it's, it's even worse than a lot of the other states around the country. University of Florida has a system. Really, it helps teachers to be even better teachers, and we can get that number up into the mid-70s, low 80s, in terms of kids who read at grade level, and that will save thousands and thousands of lives. Working with teachers and school leaders, the goal is to increase the capacity of individual teachers to teach reading effectively, diagnose reading problems, and intervene appropriately using evidence-based methods. The kids can read, if they're competent readers, they have a chance to get through high school, they have a chance to go to college if it's appropriate for them, uh, and, and, and they have a better chance to get a decent job, a, a job that they will like. For more information, visit education.ufl.edu slash Patterson. Speaking of reading, one local hotspot is making it easier for kids to read, color, and relax in what feels like luxury at the Royal Poinciana Plaza. I took my kids there to introduce them to the wee little library. Whoa, that's cool. cool in more ways than one. This is a working vintage refrigerator transformed into what the Royal Poinciana Plaza is calling a wee little library. We knew it had to be something very unique and special and um, feel very authentic to the Royal Poinciana Plaza. And so I had an idea of doing a beautiful bubblegum pink smeg refrigerator um, and doing, you know, just a fun twist on a little free library with cool reads and cold treats. Books, crayons, freeze pops, custom bookmarks with a QR code that'll tell you more about what you can do at the Royal, and a contest to win a subscription to our shelves, diverse book boxes for children. Every three months we'll be giving away a year subscription to the Our Shelves book club. So you can just fill out your information and put it in um, our little box in here and have the opportunity to win that children's books book club subscription. And Dylan, look, see, you have a color on this part. See, here's your crayons. So the next time you're out and about, stop here for a cool read and a cool treat. And that is it for this Sunday edition of Palm Beach TV. Make sure to share this episode with your friends, family, and colleagues, and don't forget to follow us on social media. I'm Christina Nicholson. We'll see you next time. Palm Beach TV is a production of the Palm Beach Civic Association. We thank our sponsor, the Fortin Foundation of Florida, and encourage you, our viewers, to let us know how we can provide news coverage that best serves our members and residents.